I like the city of Milan. The episode that I shot there of my urbanism documentary series, The Life Size City, which in Italian is Racconti dalla Città del Futuro, I think, right? It was one of my favorites. I was so pleasantly surprised at all of the amazing things that are happening in the city of Milan. A couple of days ago, I read that Milan is expanding its bicycle infrastructure network because of COVID and planning for post-COVID, which is wonderful. I mentioned it in a video I made just yesterday about pop-up bike lanes. And this morning here in Copenhagen, I was looking at the designs for the project of expanding the bicycle infrastructure. It all started out pretty well. You have this street, for example, Venezia, molto bene. Good, solid, best practice infrastructure. Then I moved on and I saw this street here, Buenos Aires. Again, va bene, certo, not bad at all. And then I kept going through the document and I ended up looking at the plans for this street, Viale Monza. And I have to ask, ragazzi, <laughs> che cosa fai? Otherwise intelligent best practice designs and then all of a sudden on one street in the middle of the nowhere, completely out of context for the cohesiveness of the infrastructure network that you're trying to build, you're going to put bikes down the middle of the street. This is not best practice. This does not prioritize cycling as transport in any city and this is unsafe. It also makes it incredibly difficult to connect it up with an otherwise best practice infrastructure network. Do you know what this design is? Il disegno più stupido del mondo. I'm sorry, but it's true. I've written about it in my book, Copenhagen Eyes. I have page 78. You can start there. I'm going to link to an article down below where you can read more about why this design is simply a massive fail. It's like I want to make, I don't know, a carbonara. I'm going to look online for an Italian recipe for this classic Italian dish. I'm not going to find some weird Catalan, French, American version of the Italian carbonara. I'm going to go with the design that works the best. Best practice pasta. Okay? The designs for Viale Monza, do you know what they are? They are the American spray cheese and ketchup that you're putting into an otherwise solid Italian carbonara that you're cooking up at the moment in the city of Milan. Think about that for a minute. Now I know the city of Milan has to act now and it has to act fast. Total respect for that. It doesn't mean you have to make bad design choices. You are building and expanding a bicycle infrastructure network that will stand for more than a hundred years if you do it right from the beginning and not make brutal mistakes like the plans for Viale Monza. I'm saying all this because Milano, vi amo. And because you have so much potential and political will to do all of the right things, to become a leadership city, a benchmark city that will inspire cities all over Europe and around the world. And I hope that you continue to be spectacular. But designs like this one on Viale Monza, Milan, you are better than that.